What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another video. In the last one, if you've missed it guys, you gotta go check it out. We gave the front of the Mustang some much needed love with a new Mach 1 front bumper and some other goodies from Dive Dynamics. Guys, go check out the card above or check out the links down below to go check out that video. Guys, it turned out amazing. Mach 1 bumper from Extreme Online Store and some goodies from Dive Dynamics. With a couple of mods, we really transformed the exterior of the car, man. It just turned out so well. But in today's video, we're going to be deep diving a little bit into the interior finally. Really cool custom modification for the back seat. We're going to delete it. We're going to do something a little bit different than we've done before, though, working with EMP parts. Guys, they sent me out a rear seat delete, something that I've not ever seen in person. And I got to tell you, I'm pretty impressed. If you have like a logo or something like that, you want to engrave into the rear seat portion of that seat delete you can do it and it's very inexpensive and the turnaround time is like a few days from emp parts guys go check out the video descriptions down below and check out this fresh cool custom seat delete uh, for your s550 mustang but what makes this a little bit different is it's like an a um abs textured plastic so it's going to not break down it's not going to rip it's not going to tear it's going to stand the test of time if it gets wet dirty whatever you wipe it down so maintenance on this is going to be extremely easy i think and the price is like a no-brainer guys go check it out you got to a few pieces here got the rear portion hard so you can put some heavy stuff on the back and it's not going to like sink or you know whatever misshape if you want to stack something on top of it so you can still use the back seat you got your hardware here we're going to dig through this looks like it's going to be a pretty easy install but the highlight here is check out the engraving so this is hard okay and they have engraved our logo into the back portion of this seat delete so let's dive into it guys so it's pretty simple we're going to rip out the back seats and go through the whole process but i'm pretty excited to get this into the car and dress up the interior a little bit and make it a little bit more show worthy guys so let's get into it let's start ripping the interior parts most of you will know how to do this but to get a rear seat out of an s550 mustang very simple so you're gonna feel this cavity down here is like a almost like a button you can push push in lift up do the same thing on the other side push in lift up so now we've got 15 millimeter 15 and then a 15 to get this back seat to get these back seats out now something else optional you can remove these if you want to i'm probably just going to leave them it looks like they're actually plugged into the harness here i don't remember that being on my 2019 back when i had it this is a 2022 so maybe this is something new so i'm just going to leave it should be fine anyway um, and if i ever want to go back to stock seat it's already there less work i have to do and i'm going to go ahead and leave these there too no sense in uh that way it just again makes it easier to go back and forth if i want to do that if we have passengers that need to ride in the back seat but so we've got a 15 millimeter let's get to work pull your tabs and then you got your last one down here All right, rock and roll, guys. So next step, the cool thing about this is we don't have to cut or modify really anything. So I've had seat deletes in the past where you have to cut and modify to do all that. This one, you do not have to. So you're gonna take this, line it up. You don't have to take these out. So again, makes it easy to go back and forth. It's gonna literally slide on like that. Then, all right, then you've got these little spacers, okay? So these are literally gonna go in here like this to kind of lock it down in place, all right? And then the icing on the cake is this other plastic bracket. It's gonna dress it up and it's gonna keep those tabs in place, just like that. So it's nice and tight, not gonna go anywhere, not gonna rattle, good to go. All right, so the bottom portion, this is where we have to get everything to fit a little bit more secure. So the existing studs that we took off those 15 millimeter nuts, see these holes, we're gonna slide them in. Once we get it all lined up, including that center one there that you can see. Okay, so center bolt is gonna be the one that you took out, your stock OEM, it's just gonna thread down, okay? And then you've got these, and then you got this piece of hardware, one on each side, it's gonna go where you took those 15 millimeter bolts out. Then you have 
these long screws with an allen head and these little winglets i'll show you how to do this in just a second and then in the center you have a push clip we'll do that last probably but that's pretty much your orientation of hardware where everything is going to go all right guys so this piece of kit here you can take your winglet you're going to one hand hold it underneath feed this through and then thread so that it's in this orientation. Just a few threads so that it doesn't fall off. And then you're literally gonna shove this down into that hole. And that's where the kind of the locks were on the bottom of the OEM seat. And then as you tighten, the wings are going to expand and kind of lock in place into that hole. It's about the same thing you do with hood struts when you install them on the NS550, same kind of concept. Last piece of kit is this push pin. Push it down, pretty simple. You're good to go. All right, so final thing to wrap it all up is just make sure everything is tightened to the spec that you want. And that's pretty much it, guys. All right, a final look here we go. I love the engraving, guys. Really cool if we could get like maybe the center painted. Maybe that's an option with them. This is a very solid fitment here. So it goes all the way up to the edges. I really like the fact that we don't have to modify anything. We don't have to cut anything. It's uh, easily reversible. And I like the material. I like the design. I like the functionality of it. So, yeah, let's take a seat. Let's see what we see. Oh yeah, that looks that looks killer, guys. So check that thing out, man. That looks really good. Love the engraving. I love the functionality. I really like the fact that we don't have to cut or modify anything because other seat delete companies options out there, you have to cut and modify. You have to do stuff like that. This, um, you don't have to do that. So pretty cool that we're still using those top brackets there and you just got that cover, that lock piece to go in between. So that's pretty cool. Maybe you want a seat to lead, but maybe you have a family. Maybe you need to transport people from time to time and you don't want to <laughs> spend four hours in the garage. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about this? Again, these things are super affordable, so follow the links down below and check them out.